Hello, it's Mike with Tradewinds RV Center here to congratulate you on your 2017 Keystone Passport Ultralight 2510RB Travel Trailer. I'm going to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite and a couple of things to take into consideration when you're parking. On your campsite, you need plenty of room for that awning. On your off campsite, of course you're going to leave room for your slide, but I also want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. Your power is going to be all the way on the rear corner, on your off camp side or your driver's side of your tow vehicle. And then your water docking station is going to be all the way up toward the front. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive and unhook our hitch, first thing you're going to do is level our unit. And it comes with a power tongue jack. Or night docking light should you arrive at night. Simply raise or lower the unit until you're level. Now they do have a little bubble level up here. It's a little wet right now from the washing, but should you lose power underneath this, there is a metal rod down in there that you can get onto with the hand crank, and that will get this up and down without power. Won't get you stuck if you lose power. Speaking of power, check your battery post every now and then. Make sure nothing's wiggling loose going down the road. Once we've got our unit level, next thing we do is stabilize it. All four corners of the unit got these three quarter inch stabilizing jacks. You can find the handle for it. Found that for you. So again, three quarter inch on the end. Hand crank here. You can use an impact driver or a drill gun. I just recommend you slow down when you get to the bottom. Because I'm also going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt, debris, uh, sinking into the hot black top in the summer. Run these down just until they're taunt on top of those. Get all four of those down. Got your unit level and stable. We'll go ahead and hook up our power and water. Again, your power cord is all the way in the back here. Actually stores inside the unit. Big long 30 amp cord. Again, stores in here, lots to pull out. Push it back up in there when you're done. Uh, at the end of that 30 amp service, should you need to plug into a 110 somewhere, in your convenience pack will be a 30 to 15 amp reducer. Get the power hooked up, and hook up your water. Docking station's up front, and at campsite you're going to hook up to city water connection. Recommended a hot water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI. It can protect the lines in your, in your unit because you don't know what the water pressure is at different campsites. Hook that up. Hook up your hose. Don't turn your hose on yet. Just find your hot water heater. This is around the rear here. Now what we're going to do at this point, make sure your drain plug's back in there. Get that in there nice and snug and tight, and then you can go ahead and turn that hose on. After a hose been out for a minute, we're going to go ahead and go inside and open up the slide. Please we want to get that slide open so we can get in here and open up all of our water lines. So as you come in, immediately up to the left, it's going to be your control panel. Uh, let me turn out of the bed. Bedroom light in here, maybe it'll give you a little more light from my control panel here. But portion ceiling lights here. Here is my slide control. Send that out again. So I can get in here, open up my water lines in the sink, open up my water lines and showers in the bathroom, get all the air out of the line, get a nice steady flow of water going through them. And you go ahead and shut them off and you'll be all set to camp at the campsite. Finish running this out. Now let's say we're not going to go to a campsite, we're going to go dry camping. Boondocking they like to call it. In that case, we're going to fill up our fresh water tank. That is right next to our city water. No need for a water pressure regulator here, you can just gravity fill this with a hose. Two ways to tell it's full. One, there's an overflow valve right here. Or two, on the inside where you check the level of your black and gray tanks, there's also a fresh water. Keep an eye on that while you're filling it. Don't leave it unattended. Uh, once it's full, put that cap back on there. And then whenever you want to utilize that fresh water, you'll turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump and hook to city water. That's already pressurized. All right, we're all set to camp for power and water. We'll walk you around the rest of the unit, continuing here in the off-camp side. Big pass-through storage area. 
city and freshwater connections. Our slides. That's your new slide topper up there. Back here is our black and gray tanks. We'll dump them when we leave the campsite. Again, our power here. Here's where you plug in your cable at campsites. Hot and cold shower. Uh, CQ 751 key will open up that one. Again, our hot water heater. Come around to our campsite. There's our black tank flush. We'll talk about that when we leave the campsite and dump our black tanks. A couple of outdoor speakers. Your big awning. Awnings are for shade. If uh, it's raining, you can. If you got a light rain, you do have this pitch control. Pull down on that and that'll tilt that away and run the rainwater this way. But in heavy rain or heavy uh, wind, highly recommend it. Just save yourself the trouble and bring this in. Access to the back of the fridge, a couple of 110s, it's a blue for your furnace. A couple of things on that. One, make sure it's never blocked. Two, if you're running your furnace, steer clear of this. It does get, does get hot. Uh, bonus is in the fall, it does add some heat to underneath your uh, canopied area here. Come down our campsite again, our stabilizing jacks. There's all of your hitch work. Hook that up for you tomorrow. The propane does come with a cover. It's on a regulator. Lefty Lucy to open knees. And it's pointed toward the tank you wish to be using. Some people put it in the middle, wait for the automatic crossover, open them both up. I recommend doing a tank at a time. That way you know how much you've got left. Well, that about covers everything out here. Let's go check out the inside. All right, coming up inside this unit. First thing I just like to point out to your fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone in this camp with you knows the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway. To your left as you come in is going to be a control panel again. So up here is where you check the levels of your brand new battery. Bad lighting here, sorry. Uh, fresh water. That's what I said to hold down when you're filling up your potable water. Black and gray tanks. Down here is where you turn on your water heater to hook to gas. Over here, if hooked to electricity, it does make a difference. Choose correctly. Here's where you can turn on the water pump. You utilize that fresh water. Awning. You only want to run that awning out until your flat falls down and you can see that bar. If you were to hold the extend down, that would continue to run itself out and start to run itself up onto itself backwards. So keep an eye on it when you run it out. Don't run it out further than you need to. Below that, again, over to the left, we did our slide control. Uh, porch light, which would be your awning light here, and our ceiling lights, which is most of the ones in here. And over here is just if you had extra glide room, that's just in that control panel. As your awning comes in, I will shut off that awning light until you slam locks work best when gently slammed. All right, coming in right away, thermostat. Get into your AC and crank that up. You got to cool. Crank up right there. Bam. Shut that off. There are three settings on this thing. Alright, they're shut off rather quickly. So again, you got a fan, a cool, excuse me, and furnace. Now the furnace is going to kick on. You hear that man going to turn under there. There we go. Now you'll notice when I shut the furnace off, it's going to take a second for that furnace fan to cycle through before it actually shuts off. TV here, stereo here, I'll remote for that. I think, there it goes. Bluetooth, AM, FM, auxiliary, speakers here, outdoors. going to have a lot of good reception in this metal building but cool system uh, smoke alarm above those coming into the kitchen I will tell you to keep an eye on your plumbing especially if you travel a lot in this up top microwave light and fan above your cooktop all uh, your cooktops here are 
stick lighter. So you turn that to light. Use a stick lighter to light these up. Of course, make sure your gas is on. Same thing uh, in your oven. You have to use a stick lighter to get down up underneath here and let your pilot light. There's a nice cover for this. Right over top of everything. Dometic fridge is real easy. Turn it on here. Auto means when you're plugged in, you're running off electricity. As soon as you unplug, you're on gas. Lift that up to run off gas. If the light on the right comes on, check your gas. Pretty simple, really. Then there's your return for your heat. You see, just shut off. Breaker box and fuses over here. A ton of 15s and a couple of 40s. Highly recommend having some of those with you when you go camping. Propane detector. That is 12 volt. That's always running off your battery, by the way. Coming inside your bathroom, you got 110 with GFCI reset and some more plumbing to keep an eye on. Just mostly pecs in there. Again, if you travel a lot in this, you're bouncing a house down the road, just check things out. Um, your shower, you want to make sure that is snapped open, or I mean closed for travel. Make sure your vent up here closes for travel. The 110 up here. Can set an extra TV up here. Um, this tabletop will lift up off here. And this will fold out into a uh, sofa area here. Over here you do have a hide -a bed as well. This will pull off here. Jackknife towards you. Nice system. Come back into our bedroom. Smoke detector. You got some storage underneath your bed. And a couple of doors. You want these snapped open for travel. You don't want these bouncing all over the place, so just keep them snapped open. Our lighting in here is just one touch. Should be blue. There we go. So we have a one touch will take that all off again over here. Snap this side open for travel. And that about covers everything in here. It's like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up. Turn on my control panel. Shut off my ceiling lights and then I can see any other lighting that's on. Just accent lighting that I need to walk through and shut off. Then make sure that door is secure. That vent is closed. Got a hand vent here in the living room as well. One more light to shut off back here. And over my stove. So if your main light off, you can still find yourself around in here. Come back to your control panel and turn on your ceiling light. Now I'm going to say doors and drawers. Walk through the unit, make sure all doors and drawers are closed. Nothing's going to impede this slide from coming in. Just sit, glide in. Make sure your TV's tucked away. Keys right here. Slides in and shut off our ceiling lights and exit the unit. Now before you leave the campsite, you're gonna lock, deadbolt, lift and turn that handle. That's how you want that handle to travel. All right, we'll bring up our steps. Bring up our stabilizer jacks. If we are out dry camping, You're going to get up underneath where our fresh water is and dump that fresh water drain. If we're at a campsite, we're going to hook our power, our water, our cable, hook up our hitch and head on up to the dump station. At the dump station, park accordingly. Your dump's going to be almost all the way at the rear of the unit. That 10 foot hose comes in your convenience pack. We're going to hook that up and we're going to pull the handle on the right black tank. 
that's gonna be your sewage and it sounds like that sewage is no longer draining go inside take a look at your black tank shows empty you're close to it leave that handle open grab the hose at the dump station come on over here to your tank flush hook that up and let that run for a good five minutes it's gonna wash all that nastiness out of your black tank when that's done close that up take that hose out make sure all the uh washout water that you put in that black tank has drained then close your black and pour your gray and you see why my gray tanks are draining go ahead we're done camping for a while come around here your hot water heater lift up on this pressure release valve be careful it's gonna dump some hot water air when that's done push that back down pour your uh drain there just for your rest of the water to get up out of there when that gray is done close it up take that sewage hose and conveniently and sanitarily store it right here in your bumper and head on home again thank you guys so much for your purchase hope you enjoy this passport for many years to come happy camping